Today I'm going to be watching celebrities speaking German. I mean, Sandra Bullock, I never knew, knew she could speak German, but I thought this would be interesting to see American celebrities speaking German, see how good they are, see how their accent sounds. I can give like an uneducated opinion, but if you're from Germany, you can tell me what you think of these. Tell me who's got the best German accent or German language skills from these. Let's check it out. Ich nervös, weil da drüben auf dem Boden liegt meine Sprache. <lacht> okay, ähm, in was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil irgendwann war ich mal Kellnerin, dann war ich Putzfrau, dann war ich Diskotänzerin, dann war ich Hundefriseuse. Wer, wer hätte gedacht, dass all diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? Aber das ist das beste Beweis dafür, weil dass das Publikum heutzutage so tolerant ist, dass sogar Leute wie ich eine Chance haben. I mean, I'm impressed to start. I don't know if that was good. It sounded good to me. It sounded like what I would imagine someone German speaking like. Uh, the accent sounded good. She was very fluent. There was no like real pauses to think about it. I, I mean, actors, I guess, can learn lines. So I guess they could probably, like, they could learn another language, if that makes sense. But... The sound of it may be difficult to get, but she sounded very good. Tell me what you think about that one. No, not so good. Not so good. No, I can't so good Deutsch sprechen. I have never, I have never studied. I have never learned. Where do you speak Deutsch? I have also sung and played. I mean, also that was a bit different because he was actually asked so he was kind of put on the spot there and he came back of course it wasn't as such a long monologue like sandra's but again it sounded quite good maybe not as good as sandra's but still quite good to be put on the spot uh, let's check out donna summer it's schon manchmal uh, lustig jedenfalls die 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 kleidung und wie ich mich bewegt habe und so weiter in münchen habe ich schon in und louis vuitton uh, hat mich uh, ein, ein paar Stiefel geschickt. Also ich, das war hier, wenn ich uh, so angekommen gestern. Ich habe viele, viele Leute kennengelernt, die jetzt meine deutsche Familie sind. Um, deutsche Familie. Und uh, deswegen bin ich nach München gegangen, damit ich sie alle zusammenbringen können, dass wir mal Mahlzeit zusammen haben kann, weil ich in Deutschland bin. Yeah, that was good as well. She actually got faster as it went on, so it shows her confidence in speaking. Uh, I don't know if she mentioned Deutsche Family, maybe she's got family who are German. Uh, and she was like joking, I seen her laughing there and things. So, I mean, to have humor in another language is quite a difficult thing as well, unless you have some level of fluency. So, I again impressed Bud Spencer, I don't know, I've never heard before. You can, I have a Deutsch student. But I have all forgotten. Warum sprichst du nicht Deutsch mit mir? Ich sprich Deutsch. Ich ja. sprich Deutsch. Aha. Äh, ich habe mich vier Jahre in Deutsch studiert. Ah, du hast vier Jahre Deutsch studiert. Ja. Herr Bird, du bist wohl im Moment einer der größten Filmstars der Welt. Ja, ja das ist korrekt. Ich bin äh, fast äh, zwei Meter. Hmm, okay, maybe, I mean, that was only a small, uh, some small sentences there, so I can't really judge based on that, but I, I mean, not the German part, I just love his voice, very bass-driven voice. Uh, seems like a cool guy, but I've never seen him. Is this the Pope? Papst Argentinian, so yeah, this must be the Pope. Grüße und Schwestern. Herzlich grüße ich euch alle, die ihr an unterstehen Katholiken Tag in Leipzig teilnehmt. Ich freue mich, dass ihr in so großer Zahl gekommen seid. Ihr wollt den Menschen in Leipzig. Again, it, he, it looks like he was reading from a piece of paper, so it's hard to tell if he has any sort of fluency and he was speaking quite slow and things like that as well. But I guess just normally, even his in his own language, maybe he speaks with at that same pace. Uh, so hard to tell for me. Tell me what you think about that one. That was quite. It would be quite interesting to hear. John Kerry, maybe he had some, maybe he worked for the US in Germany as well as his role in America, I'm not sure. How do you feel? So good. So good, danke. So good, danke. Alles gut. Deine Schuhe sind fantastisch, ja? 
You speak very good German. Nein, nein, ich kann nur ein bisschen. I mean, that one was hard to tell. That was very basic, just simple words. So again, I'm not too sure how I can uh, judge that one. Chris Pratt? Yeah, I can uh, listen to it. I can have a day on the school again. And uh, yeah. Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Und du kannst super tanzen. Da, ja, danke schön, danke schön, ja. Kannst du mir einen Move zeigen, der alle Frauen äh, durchdrehen lässt? Ah, du musst ja gerade in der Galaxy sehen. Und, äh, Hab ich, schon dreimal. Ja, dreimal. Wie geht's? Okay, that one was definitely different, because not only was he put on the spot, he was asked several questions, so he obviously has some understanding of the language as well, not just speaking. It's not just a monologue or a speech that's pre-prepared. He's actually listening, which, as I mentioned on previous videos, I speak Malay. My knowledge, being able to speak is good. Being able to read is good. Sometimes the understanding when listening can be a bit more difficult, especially when people speak faster and so on. So I'm impressed with that one. I don't know how he answered because there's no subtitles or anything like that. Uh, Novak Djokovic? Guten Abend. <laughs> mir geht es gut. Wie geht es dir? Sehr gut. Ich freue mich hier zu sein heute Abend. Sehr viel. Ich ja. bin begeistert von deinem Deutsch. Kannst du das von Boris? Ja, ich kenne, ich kenne äh, äh, auch von Boris ein bisschen, aber ich hatte ich habe, ähm, in, in Schule gelernt äh, deutsche Sprache und da habe in ich Stuhl? in äh, Oberschleißheim bei dem Nikki Pilic Tennis Academy gelebt für äh, drei oder vier Jahre und so. Ich habe nicht viele Worte vergessen, aber es ist so I guess he said that maybe he learned it in school for three or four years, I think that might have been, something like that. So maybe he's not, I thought maybe Djokovic might have trained in Germany and that's maybe how he picked up the language. But if he's able to understand uh, someone asking questions just from a school education for three or four years, I mean, I might be completely wrong there. Uh, that would be impressive in itself. Pep. I can understand because obviously he was a Bayern manager, so uh, I guess it would be expected that he must have some level of German. Too viel Leute hier in Deutschland. Zu viel. Sie müssen ein bisschen mehr Respekt für den deutschen Meister für diese Spiele. So, der Grund ist in der Probleme. Sie sind der Problem ist nicht Bayern München. Wir haben unsere Ziel, unsere weiter gemacht. Ist ihr Problem, nicht unser Problem. Aber wenn du hast gespielt, 30, drei Monate, das war ja drei Monate mit 13, 14 Spieler. Ja, yeah, that was okay, man. I know Pep, as I said, managed there. I can still hear his accent. And the way he speaks in German is very similar to the way he speaks in English, like his uh, posture and his delivery. Uh, so it's hard to tell for me again. Mark Strong, I like Mark Strong. I've seen a few of his movies, always like very good, man. Never knew he could speak German actually as well. Mein Deutsch ist nicht mehr so gut wie früher, aber ich werde es versuchen. Auf der Schule hab, äh, wächst man auf mit äh, Conan Doyle und Sherlock Holmes. Ich habe Spaß gehabt und die, die Leute sind alle sehr nett und sie wissen jetzt überhaupt nicht, was ich sage. Also kann ich sagen, was ich will, aber ähm, ja, das wär's. Leonardo DiCaprio? Okay, hold on, man. That, that was actually very good from Mark Strong, in my opinion. Like, I feel like I never knew he was English. I could potentially think he was German there, he was very confident, again made an, another joke, got a good laugh, so feels comfortable speaking the language and being able to have some humour in that as well. And the tone of it sounded quite German if that makes sense. Well, I'm excited to hear Leonardo DiCaprio speak German. Meine Oma ist von uh, ein, ein kleiner Stadt, uh, uh, zwei Stunden weg von Düsseldorf, Spätzl, Spätzl mit uh, Wiener Schnitzel. Okay, man. Uh, yeah, so, again, very short uh, piece of German language there from Leo, but again, sounded good. I'm not sure where Leonardo, I had no idea Leonardo DiCaprio had any German knowledge. Maybe he just picked it up from working with German actors and things like that as well, but very interesting video. Tell me what you think about all of those being German, who had the best grasp of the German language from all of those and uh, what did you think about each of them? Thanks.